Hey everybody, it's your girl Yvette here. Thanks so much for coming back to my channel. So, I wanted to talk about skincare products. So as you guys know, I've said it a million times over, I'm an acne sufferer. I have pretty bad skin. Underneath this foundation, my skin is spotted. I have clogged pores. I have like zits. It's just not pretty. For the condition of my skin right now, as you can see, I have like terrible breakout. Um, of course, it looks worse because I did some extractions on myself. Yes, I know as an amateur, not a professional with skincare, I should not be doing anything to my face unless I want it to be damaged, which I probably have done, but you know, sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. Probably some of you are wondering why I just don't go to a dermatologist. So I have been to a dermatologist and I just remember leaving the dermatologist's office with like five prescriptions and two of them I had to get an approval from my insurance from. One wasn't covered so I had to pay out of pocket and then one was like so exclusive or, <laughs> or weird that my pharmacy didn't even have it. They had to order it for me. So. You know, I got these products, I went home, I tried them for a long time, and I was like, yeah, my skin is not better. I mean, it wasn't as bad as it had been, but it certainly wasn't anything where I was like, this product is the holy grail. The, these things have done it, you know? So I just said, enough with that. I'm not gonna, I can't spend the rest of my life relying on a prescription or prescriptions to get my skin better. I gotta figure out what's going on in my body and I also have to find something over the counter. I need something accessible. So anyway, I turned to YouTube and um, I watched a lot of YouTubers. Unfortunately, a lot of them were younger. And I say unfortunately because like when you're younger, you don't have to worry about stuff like skin dryness, wrinkles, loss of elasticity, loss of collagen. Um, your hormone issues are completely different than someone who's almost 50 and perimenopausal. But you know, I still watch them because there's not that many women on here who are talking about having acne prone skin. They might have a pimple here and there, but they don't have like the acne breakouts that I do. But nonetheless, I watched those younger YouTubers and I certainly took their advice. I bought a lot of products that they suggested. And as you can see here, I bought a lot of stuff. This is probably only one fourth of all the products that I actually have. Seriously, if you were to calculate how much that I've spent, this is probably like a short trip to the Caribbean. And I, I'm just, I'm not gonna do it anymore. It's just ridiculous. I'm starting to feel like the less you do, the better. And I opened this one, and this one is Freeman Feeling Beautiful Rose Brightening Facial Paper Mask. And the reason why I got this is because it says it exfoliates. And of course, you know, a lot of people will always say that I just do way too much to my face, like torturing it, but because I opened it, I'm gonna put this on. Um, hopefully, I will not have a reaction to it already. It smells pretty stinky. Um, yeah, I don't like the way it smells at all. It smells musky. But, um, and I just tore it. So, it's supposed to fit on your face like this, but of course, like a genius, I tore it. Yeah, I don't know. Why does this smell so bad? Is it rancid? I've had it for a while. Yeah, I'm gonna put it on anyway and see what happens. If it starts stinging, I'll rip it off and uh, just go ahead and rinse my face. Well, folks, maybe I won't be putting it on after all. I think it just ripped it again. It's all stuck together. Oh, okay, let's see. Oh, gosh. I really don't even try to come on here and make fool of myself, but it just happens naturally. Okay. Would have been good if I read the instructions about how long to put this on, but as you all know, I think I've admitted this before, I don't really follow instructions <laughs> when it comes to these things. Oh, it's a little stingy. Mm. Okay, 
Now to read the instructions. Oh my God, they're so tiny. I, I'm sure that this, this is one of my other cameras. It's not focusing for you. This is so tiny, I can't even read it. And so I'm just going to have to leave it on for as long as I think it needs to be left on. All right, so I'll let you know my um, feelings about this mask and we'll see how my skin looks after. All right, so the instruction said anywhere between three to five minutes. I think I've probably gone a little over three minutes, although it's probably more like five minutes. So I'm gonna take it off and rinse. Um, I did have a little bit of stinging, but um, my face isn't, oh yeah, it's red. But anyway, <laughs> I've tried um, many different little pads, like these are just your traditional Clearasil pads that people have been around forever, people have been using them. Someone suggested these Bliss Steep Clean Mattifying Toner Pads, I've tried those. Someone said they got clear skin using these Kane and Austin 20% Miracle Pads with um, glycolic acid. As you can see, I only have a few left. I've really given all of this stuff a try. Um, someone suggested uh, that this Leave On Peel, Overnight Leave On Peel by Garnier was really great. Um, I bought this. As a matter of fact, I have two of them. This one hasn't even been used yet. Uh, let's see, I've got tons of different moisturizers. This is Shea Moisturizer. This is for problem skin. This is for acne prone skin. Um, these moisturizers, this is just Equate. This is oil free with salicylic acid. This is Neutrogena oil free. I've even tried something called Bump Patrol based on a suggestion of somebody who said that although this is for men who shave and get bumps that this would actually work on pimples. I've tried these little patches that you put on like the really swollen ones that uh, you know you don't want to need to do your whole face. I've tried many different cleansers. I don't even have all the cleansers here. I've tried this Murad um, Radiance Peel. Now this isn't necessarily for acne but it's to make the skin look brighter because I feel like my skin looks really dull. Um, you know I've tried this. I don't know if that's going to focus for you but you know the brand. Anyway. I've tried all of this stuff and the other YouTubers have said and they've shown before and after pictures that this stuff has actually cleared up their skin. I have not been so fortunate. It did not clear up my skin, not in the least bit. Um, so I'm starting to think less is best and I did start to go on a regimen of the simpler the better. And while I do cleanse with an oil, I cleanse with this hemp oil, as I've told you all about in before. I also use the Missilla Cleansing Water by um, Garnier. This one, in particular the pink one. I don't like the one for waterproof makeup and they have a sensitive skin one, I haven't used that yet. I did try another Missilla Water by uh, CeraVe and did not like it, it burned my face. This one surprisingly does not burn my skin whatsoever. No burning, no itching. It does say that you don't need to rinse this off but I definitely rinse this off of my face. Um, I don't use toners. I don't use any toners, not even a toner that claims that it's alcohol free. I use rose water. This one, again, I bought this in an Indian shop. This stuff is fantastic, doesn't do anything to my face except makes it feel nice and soft. And then I go back in and moisturize with the hemp seed oil. You guys, I can't say enough positive things about this. As a matter of fact, today when I showered, I used a bar soap as opposed to my shower gel. And despite the fact that I rinsed thoroughly, I was itching like crazy when I got out. So I rubbed on some hemp oil and um, took care of the problem right away. So do I still have acne? Do I still have congested skin? Yes, absolutely, undoubtedly. Um, but what I really go for now is to stay away from products that actually exacerbate the problem. Oh, I meant to tell you, I'm not gonna say which ones because I'm not here to diss anybody, but some of these things actually make the pimple problem worse. It makes more pop out and it makes them more painful and um, more inflamed. I go for products that are going to not inflame my skin, not make it itch, and not cause any pain or irritation. 
So there you have it. I just wanted to get on here and share with you that little bit of advice that maybe sometimes less is best. Other than that, folks, not much more is going on. I hope you all are doing well. Thank you, as always, for supporting my channel, and um, I'll see you at the next video. Bye. I just wanted to show you all one of my favorite dishes or like side dishes that I make. This is fennel that has been cut and sliced um, with a Vidalia onion and also I have some like little grape tomatoes here and what I've done is just um, put a little of this organic Bragg's um, organic olive oil on here pepper and some salt and then I'm going to put this into an oven at 350 and just wait until the tomatoes get really soft or kind of burst a bit or um, the fennel is like a little tender sometimes the fennel can be a little stringy and chewy and I don't like to overcook it but I try to also cook it enough so that it's not so tough but anyway this is just a really yummy like side dish if you really kind of like these things um, maybe you will want to give it a try hey everybody so I'm about to eat a little lunch but I just wanted to show you this is how the um, grape tomatoes the fennel and the onion has come out um, I also and I didn't record any of this I made a little quinoa with um, onions uh, yellow and red peppers and some black beans and so I'm about to have that for lunch and then also I wanted to let you guys know I have been drinking this um, polar with polar is the brand seltzer soda and this flavor is toasted toasted coconut I don't know how many of you like seltzer water if you like the different flavors and stuff like that but this flavor is so delicious I don't know it's like it's almost like whipped cream with coconut in it I don't know if that's appealing to any of you but um, it's totally yummy so if you want to like drink a water or a soda alternative you know something that's fizzy and doesn't have flavor or any artificial sweetener i would say definitely check out the polar seltzers i love these bad boys actually um i wanted to get on here and let you know again uh, polar seltzer isn't the only brand that i like although as you can see i do definitely love them here's another good one this one is the ruby red grapefruit but i also like the lacroix waters and also the what brand is this i think it's dasani and the dasani sparkling waters are really good too and this is like blood orange that's kiwi pear oh my god these two are so delicious as well lacroix coconut i really love coconut so i'm obsessed with it um delicious delicious uh, yeah, so if you're like I said looking for a soda alternative no sugar um, Definitely try that. I got this one as well. This is also by polar water. This one is um, watermelon lemonade. I Don't love this one that much believe it or not. It is very refreshing But for some reason it tastes like cucumbers to me, and I don't find that appealing I don't I don't know why I guess I should but <laughs> I don't Alrighty you guys